I'm Klaus. This is a tutorial for Fantasy Dice, a rule set for Fantasy Grounds, an online virtual tabletop for role playing games. In this second tutorial, I'm going to show some dice rolling and how to use some features on your character sheet. You roll the dice simply by picking them up, right clicking to change the number of dice you roll, and drop them in the chat window. It will show you the dice roll result for that roll. On the character sheet, you have a lot of fields which allows you to also roll dice for particular skills or abilities. Let's say you want to roll your shield. This is just a uh, shortcut for a shield roll, a parry. In this case, he has three dice 10. Let's say you instead wanted to scale that down to four dice eight. You can just drop that in there. You can drag it or you can double click it. And you'll see it says shield parry, four dice eight and the result. Same thing with a reflex roll or a dodge roll and so on. Uh, you also have a penalty field here. You can open a mini sheet here which gives you all the various penalties you can have for your character. Let's say you're stunned. It will calculate the penalty, put it on all the fields. That means if you're now going to roll that same shield roll, it's going to be one die less. Uh, interestingly, if you add enough penalties, so in this case, minus four, a very unlikely penalty. You probably should be quitting at this point, but let's say you try the desperate block anyway, it will actually scale it down for you. So in this case, because it uh, didn't have enough dice eight, it rolled one dice six. You clear these penalties simply by clicking the middle mouse button or mouse wheeling down. You can also mouse wheel up to put the penalties back up. Now these penalties uh, are all used on all the various pages. You'll also see that, for example, this uh, wound impairment penalty and the stun, they're all tracked across the sheet, so it doesn't matter which page you're doing this on, there's only one for your character, which tracks everywhere. Uh, you'll see here on the combat page that you have your various weapons. These are the same things I put in here. This pain is mostly, and indeed that shield, is mostly a shorthand for uh, having the most used stuff in one place for combat. So, and you you can also open this as a mini sheet. So you have your reflex and your dodge. Your main weapon in this case a battle axe, which has a penetration rating of one, medium reach. I should actually have a, a grievous wound and a three dice eight attack. As you can roll. Uh, his favorite parry is the shield, which is the same as this. Uh, you'll also see here the armor, which is just values entered into these fields, which is your AR value. You can also put the penalty here, which again is the same as the armor penalty there. Okay, and just quickly then on to skills, since that's where you'll do a lot of your rolling. This is your skill sheet. You'll see the skill name, attribute, the attribute rating, which is how many dice you should roll, any special modifier. You'll see here, you can add plus and minus die. Uh, the actual stat die for that skill and the actual roll. Again, you can drop anything into that window that you prefer to roll. Uh, to roll, let's say I want to do an alchemy roll, you simply double click or drag and drop and it'll do an alchemy. Uh, if you want to use a specialty which adds a bonus die, let's say you wanted to make a um, black powder bomb with your alchemy, well just double click your specialty and voila, it'll do an alchemy black powder bomb 4 dice 10 roll. With this, just as with the attack rolls and everything else, it again uh, uses the penalties here, so if I was to say that you're wounded, it will add a penalty here, it'll include that in the roll. If it's a skill which uh, you shouldn't really have the penalty if you your wound is treated, such as alchemy or anything which isn't too physical, it'll remove the penalty and allow you to roll full while it'll keep it for physical skills. Just nice little features to make it simple for you to track things. Finally, and very quickly, just show you here that we have some tactics. Might talk more about this next time. This does the same things as the penalty do by adding dice and subtracting dice depending on what you're doing. Uh, so you could do a focused attack to get a bonus die, for example, or, or a focused block for that matter, rolling an extra die. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below.